All right, back at the four by four, uh, looking pretty good. These, look how skinny these leaves are, Jesus. This is crazy. And they're looking burned, so I might turn both of them, both sides down just a little bit. And that sucks because I didn't bring my meter. But he does have one of these, so I could plug it up and see exactly how much I'm dropping it. Bugs came in, I put half, or half the bag went into all of my other tents, especially that three gallon, the fungus gnats. And then I'll put the rest in here. So I got the Stratios, and then I got the Cucumeras. My dumbass, I'm always, I guess that's how you learn. I got the slow release, then I go on there and I got the slow release for 90 cent a piece. And then I went on there and saw that they had the fast release, which is what I should have gotten because the bugs are already here, so. So I got those, I got like four over here on this plant, one on this one. Let's go through, Let's take this out. So I'll put some on this other side. But look at, look at the structure of this plant. This is nice. Of course it came from the Festo genetics. Right, these are shut kind of seeds, looking nice. This one, not so much. And I know it's gonna be, I'm gonna have to push this one 90 days, 100 days, so I don't know. This one, yeah. All right. Right now I have the HLG 65 because it's a 4000K light along with the blue spectrum park over there in the corner. I do have the spider farmer in here, but it's not on, so. Only got one on. I don't think I'll be turning both of them on. I don't think it'll get, I don't think that that'll be necessary. I just didn't feel like taking that out. Um, but all I have to do is unclip it right there and put it on out, but just in case. I don't really have a, another place to put it, so it's fine in here. This is the 24 karat from Manifesto. So if you all remember, I had fungus gnats in this pot from that dirt that I got from the grocery store. Uh, was watering in mosquito bits, stuff like that. I really wasn't seeing an improvement. I was still seeing one or two a day. So I went ahead and I bought some bugs, some stratios, and then some cucumeras mites. So one lives in the soil, one is canopy dwelling. Uh, the canopy dwelling ones I got for thrips over at my other tent. And then I threw one packet in my big tent here, my three by three, uh, just for the hell of it. They sent me an extra one, so I threw it in there. All right, so it was just two weeks ago, planted 24 carats on the 14th. And today, uh, well, yesterday just made two weeks, so. Good, man. So I'm going away again for a couple of days. I got the water here uh, with the blue mats. So for this size pot, I, I feel like that's that's fine. Got the fan going. I also have that fan over there that uh, oscillates, but I don't have that on. I'm afraid that's going to break on me because of the oscillating function. But it's just going to alternate the two. But when I'm gone, I'm going to leave that one on. Today is Monday. The 24 karat was transplanted on Thursday when the bugs came in. So I transplanted it first. Then I put the bugs in because they say once you plant around in the dirt, the soil dwelling mice tend to die off because of all the commotion and stuff. So make sure you have your plants planted before you go ahead and put your bugs in or your mites in. Wednesday will be the end of week six. So we're coming up on week seven. And yeah, man, we stacking. So I'm afraid these in-house genetics, 
Oh man, look at that. I don't know what that could be. I mean, I, I still think it's calcium. But that's obviously getting worse. I never saw that one before. I saw this one. I really. I mean, you have slight markings. But other than that, it looks pretty good. And Banana Blaze still trying to make his way. Go on, give me some sneaky banana. Go on, yeah, let me get that. Um, orange has him back here. Like I was saying, I think these in-house genetics are going to be for bag appeal. I'm not smelling anything, no type of terps. A little bit of terps from this one, nothing from the banana sickle. So I think I'm going to be moving on from these from these in-house genetics. I'm, going, I'm more so concerned with the high. I don't care what the fuck it looks like. But just watered in some microbes yesterday. There's a nice fat radish still here. Got a radish in the back. And I gotta, I don't know if I wanna run soil test next time. I think I'm gonna leave that leaf just to document the progress. The progress of the deficiency. So that's not even, but anyway. This is the three by three, it's looking good, man. So we're gonna go week eight, week nine. But the frost on this is crazy. Like I said, hopefully the turps come out or hopefully, if anything, it, it just don't smell like anything, but it still gets you baked. But I don't like shit like that. I like to get high, number one, and then the taste is number two for me. So, this is all under the HLG 100. Oh shit. The UV on, I meant to turn that off while I was recording, but got the UV on. I got the Blue Spectrum puck that'll pop on in a minute. So, let me go ahead and close this up then. This tent would be So this is middle of week three. The second of April will be the end of week four. Friday will be Friday will be the end of week four for this one. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and raise the light up. I see it coughing a little bit. So I'll raise that up. Now, in here we have the HLG 100, the Blue Spectrum. That's like that. And then I got the other pucks up there. I didn't cut those on yet. Um, but I am starting to do the Flower Initiator. I don't have, do I have one here? Yeah. I'm starting to do the Flower Initiator in the other tent, Galaxy Brain. This one I'll start once it starts to flower. I'm um, putting it to sleep, see if that helps anything, speeds anything up. I guess I wouldn't know because I don't have anything to compare it to. But yeah, I'm just experimenting. Oh, and here I cut all the cover crop and it's starting to come back. My top dress with a little rock dust um, and a whole bunch of microbes. My top dress with rock dust, craft blend, and then I watered in a whole bunch of microbes. So by the time I come back, the cover crop would have been grown out and I will have to do that once again. 
I just don't want it growing over the plant while I'm gone. All right, so this galaxy brain is on week five. She is praying. I pulled the light up just a little bit um, the other day, yesterday probably. Got the blue puck right in there in the corner. What else I got in there? In this tent, I am cutting the flower initiator on 15 minutes after the lights go off. Now, just to see. What is that? That's the UV. So once the flowers develop a little more, I'll start cutting the UV on or leaving it on. But yeah, it's looking good. I'm gonna raise it a little bit more. So when I come back, it would have grown up a little, but it wouldn't have burned the plants that bad. Let me see if I need to empty this. So we all good, that was, that's the update for the four tents. Um, well, for the five tents. I got the other one in there too. And it's looking good. I'm ready for this one to start shooting up just a little bit so I can start pruning the bottom and just to get it off the top of this cover crop. So maybe like, I, can, I want it up to here or maybe up to this. Maybe up to this, and then the light will sit all the way up. But yeah, man, that's it for this one.